Hi everyone. Today we are going to discuss about comparing numbers. That is less than, greater than, is equal to. Today we are going to do numbers up to 999. As we have already done in junior classes that alligator is fond of eating big numbers. So if we are given numbers 5 and 3, so alligator will eat 5 instead of 3. First rule, whenever we have to count, compare any two numbers, first rule is that we have to count the number of digits. We are given two numbers here, 38 and 492. First rule is that we have to compare the number of digits. First digit, second digit. Here the number of digits are 2. Here 4. 9 and 2. Here the number of digits are 3. So, it's clear that 3 is greater than 2. So, we can say that 492 is greater than 38. Or we can say that 38 is less than 492. Rule number 2. Always compare the positions of digits. Firstly, we have to start with hundreds position. There are two numbers, 358 and here the number is 792. We are given two numbers. And first rule is that we have to count the number of digits. Here also the, num here also the number of digits are 3, 1, 2 and 3. Here also the number of digits are 3. 1, 2, 3. So now rule number 2 says that we have to compare the positions of digits. See the hundreds digits here. I have written in red color. Here the hundreds place is 3. And here the hundreds place is 7. So it's clear that 7 is greater than 3. So answer is 792 is greater than 358. Or we can say that 358 is less than 792. See the next number. 453. And here. The number is 492. First rule says that we have to count the number of digits. 1, 2, 3. 3 digits. 1, 2, 3. 3 digits. So the number of digits are same. Now rule number 2 says that we have to compare the position of digits. Compare the hundreds position. Here, the number on the hundreds position is 4. And here also the number is 4. So, what will I do when the number at hundreds position is same? If the number at hundreds position is same, then we will compare the tens column. See the numbers which I have written in pink color. Here the number is 3 and here the number is 9. Clearly 9 is smaller than 9. So the answer is 738 is greater than 792. Oh, is it correct? No, it's not correct. The answer will be 738 is less than 792 because 3 is less than 9. See the next number 738 and here also the number is 734. Read the numbers carefully. Now count the number of digits 1, 2, 3. And here 1, 2, 3. Number of digits are same. 
So now, according to the rule number 2, we will start comparing the numbers from hundreds place. 7 And here also it is 7. If the number at hundreds place is same, then we will compare the tens column. Here, the number at tens place is 3. And here also the number at tens place is 3. So, what will I do if the number at tens place is also same? If the number at tens place is also same, then we will compare the ones column. See, read the numbers here. Number is 738 and here the number is 732. Count the number of digits. 1, 2, 3 and here also the number is 1, 2, 3. Both have same number of digits. Now rule number 2 says if both the numbers have same number of digits, then compare the positions. First of all, start comparing from hundreds place. Here it is 7. Here also it's 7. Now tens position. 3. Here also it's 3. Now ones position. 8. Here also. Here is 2. So it's just clear that 8 is greater than 2. So the answer is... 738 is greater than 732. So, whenever we have to compare any number, make sure that you count the number of digits first. And the rule number 2 says, then compare the position of numbers. Now, see the next example. Number is 528. And here the number is 528. Both have same number of digits. And in fact, you will notice that both the numbers are same. 528 and here also it is 528. If both the numbers are same, we use is equal to. Please pronounce is equal to very nicely. It is not is equal to. It is is equal to is equal to so 528 is equal to 528 thank you we will discuss about the numbers up to 9999 in next module bye bye